Der Mensch lebt durch den Kopf, der Kopf reicht ihm nicht aus. Versuch es nur von deinem Kopf, lebt höchstens eine Lauf. Verfremden Sebekt. Ver, verfrem dun Sebekt. Verfremden Sebekt. The alienation effect was something that Brecht kind of came up with on his own, and it was his way of having the audience think rather than to feel when they were watching the play. They, he didn't want them to be in the world of the play and get caught up in it. He wanted them to remove themselves with it and realize they were watching a play. And, and yeah. Epic theater used simple sets and lighting and music, mostly the actors singing songs to for a comedic effect to break the action away from the intense moments of the play. Um, the acting was critical to epic theater. Actors were told to play characters rather than become characters, maintaining for the audience that they were merely actors playing a role so the audience wouldn't get sucked into the world of the play. The actors broke the fourth wall in order to include the audience rather than perform for them. My dear sir, you are in the position to do three poor soldiers in distress a little service with no inconvenience to yourself. Our fourth man has been delayed, taking leave of his wife, and if there are not four of us at roll call, we shall all be thrown into the dungeon. So it would help if you put on one of our uniforms, and you'd only need to be present when they numbered off new arrivals and answer to his name. Just to keep the record straight, that's all. A cigar, more or less, that you might feel like smoking at our expense would not be worth mentioning. It is not that I am reluctant to oblige you, but unfortunately I have to hurry home. I have bought a cucumber for dinner and therefore cannot do exactly as I would like. Thank you. Frankly, it is what I expected of you. That's the point. You cannot do exactly what you would like. You would like to go home, but you cannot. Thank you, sir, for justifying the confidence we placed in you the instant we set eyes on you. Man East Man, or... Man Equals Man is a story about a man, Gailey Gay, who goes to the store to buy a fish for him and his wife for dinner. On the way to the store, he runs into three soldiers who persuade him to accompany them back to base to fill in for their fourth man who is missing so they don't get caught for stealing money. After roll call, the soldiers tell him they don't need him anymore, but he decides to stay in case they need his assistance further and this is where it, he begins to take on the identity of a soldier. The other soldiers try to prove or disprove Gailey Gay's true identity by setting him up in a scheme selling military property, which he does. He is arrested, tried, and put forth to be e executed. He faints just before shots are fired and awakens with full belief that he is Jeremiah Jip, the missing soldier, and goes off to war. What are Breck's intentions for man equals man? I think, I think Brecht is trying to say man can be anything you want him to be. There's no right or wrong definition of man in a way. There, there are no limits to what a man can be or what he can become or what you want him to be. Basically we all live by war in one way or another. It doesn't mean that war defines individuals necessarily, but I think in a way it defines the world or parts of the world. Um, and I think he's also trying to say man is really easily fooled or persuaded. Um, we don't have control of ourselves, but others have control over us and we have control over them. I think he's trying to say something about human individuality. Um, cause the play illuminates how one man gets conformed to a group of men, the soldiers, who all dress the same, walk the same, do the same activities. Um, and I think Brecht is using that as an example of society, of how society wants us to conform to its way of people. Um, 
I mean, there's even a line in the play where he's like, you walk like this, right? You, you do these things because he's trying to be more like them. Um, and because it's Brecht, it's unnecessarily hard to decipher whether he is believing what he's writing or if he's writing this to actually show the importance of individuality. Um, and I think that's more up to interpretation. Um, because throughout generations, man easily conforms to what is socially accepted. We're from doing sent back. Coming from the acting side of it, I've only heard, honestly, negative things about Brecht. Brecht goes against everything that I've ever learned. You don't see the audience, but you want them to to be in the scene, you want them to be in the world of the play, be there with you. And with Brecht, it, he says, you know, no, I don't want that. I want you to get them to realize they're watching a play. I found myself really just engaged and intrigued by Brecht and his work. Why is Brecht so important? What can we do with Brecht? To explore how Brecht's work can be reinterpreted and reinvented today but using Brecht's word. It was actually pretty difficult because the majority of the Brecht plays that we looked at were all really relatable to today. Open almost any theater or performance studies journal at random and you will discover numerous buzzwords derived in part from the rich traditions of Marxist critique. Ideology, hegemony, class, social formation, historical conditions, matter, materialism, colonialism, exploitation, power, and so on. The quote, it says, um, these buzzwords derived from Marxist critique, and Brecht was Marxist. And so it connected all the dots in... We have the war on terror, the actual war, and the way that they try to recruit gay the gay, they they have to find a way to appeal to him. They have to find a way to get him in because there wasn't a draft necessarily at the time, so they couldn't automatically say you have to fight, you have to be a soldier. Gay the gay is is different than everyone else. Everybody kind of has to act the same, has to be the same, and he wasn't like that. People need to hide their true selves, or they feel that they have to. I think playwrights back then and today, whether any kind of artist really, would strive for equality. Quoting an artist of today, um, whether you're gay, straight, or bi, lesbian, transgendered life, you're on the right track and you're born this way. Gayly Gay is fighting against the people who don't want you to be different. There are metaphorical wars within society. One we are facing today is an economic war. Financial status defines us from a different group of people. It still could, but at the same time we're all losing. We're all you know, are made to conform to new lifestyles that can be represented with Gailey Gay having to step out of what he's used to. But what is that to me? The one cry and the other cry. And I already feel within me the desire to sink my teeth in the enemy's throat, ancient urge to kill every family's breadwinner, to carry out the conqueror's mission. Hand me your pay books. At ease, we're now crossing the frontier of the frozen. So you're in the army as well, Danny boy. We're in the army as well, Danny boy. And when I see old Uh, so in the army too. Had you never seen me here before? I had never seen you here before. You're not ready. I can't work like this. Yes, we are. Is it the same line? Or did we move on? Mishing. Mishing. He's quite mishing. Go. After taking on the identity of a soul. Did I say identity funny? <laughs> I looked at the camera. <laughs> I'm calling my face. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm trying to work. I can't work with her. The one there's a bug in my hair. Oh! <laughs> and that's why I didn't start. I knew something was gonna come. But I why wrecked. And what was that? <laughs>